Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we have a Dollar Tree haul. So many exciting items. I have to get into it. Honestly, I know that I'm a wreck, but I have been really sick, you guys. I forced myself to get on this camera and do this Dollar Tree haul. Hopefully, I won't be hacking up along. I have, we, my son, my husband, and I had strep and mono, and we don't know what's going on. We went to the doctor. We feel terrible. They're telling us that we might have relapsed on the mono, and it's just an endless cycle. I don't know. This place is really little, so I feel like we're recontaminating each other all the time. But I'm going to jump into this haul, and hopefully I can get through it without losing my voice again. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. There are so many fun items that I've picked up that I really want to share so I can start to use. Like this new headband that's hit the Dollar Tree. Look at how regal and high-end it looks. I lo I'm going to... I, I feel like I have to just, I have to, I just love the green one. It's so, it looks so expensive. I mean, it does not look like it costs a dollar 25. It is so crooked. This is where Marina, okay. It's because it was in the bag. I don't think I bought it like that. Yeah. It's been sitting in the bag. I'm going to have to like put it under my mattress. Only I can discombobulate a headband, you guys. Only me, but isn't it beautiful? I might even leave it in my hair. It's so pretty. And if you like put curls in your hair or you do your hair up, it's just so, so bougie on a budget. There's no other way around it. That looks expensive for a dollar twenty-five. These will make fantastic gifts. The Dollar Tree is giving us a ton of nice hair accessories right now. And I'll buy hair accessories for $1.25 that look like they're a fortune any day. I, 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 can't, I had to try them both on. I feel like I love the green one more, but they're both really, really pretty. They're really pretty. They look really expensive. I seriously cannot believe they were a buck and a quarter. When I saw them in the Dollar Tree, at first I thought they were the Riviera brand that we've been getting, but they're not. They're just regular Dollar Tree headbands. Incredible. Then the next thing, which I shared with you guys a million years ago, it really feels like a million years ago, are these candlesticks. I think these candlesticks are so beautiful. I can envision people embellishing them with just a little ribbon or maybe like a tiny little wreath on each one. There are so many cute things you could do with these and really do them up. They do not look like they were $1.25. And they come in three different heights, as well as each one of them has a different uh, top, which I think makes them really shabby chic. So you could probably even um, chalk paint these and make them really shabby chic, like distress them and add like lace to them. There's so many things you can do, like boho bits of lace and velvet ribbon. So cute. I love that they're not the same. The fact that they're, you guys see that, that there are three different tops. You can also, you see that little like hook. You can put these upside down, like get a, a wood round, turn these upside down. Uh, technically, you don't even have to like chain them or attach them from that. You can even E6000 them upside down. They'll be at three different heights put a solar lamp in here and it will, or like a battery operated light bulb or a remote control light bulb. And you will have a light chandelier outside, really farmhouse looking. I, I honestly, if I had a porch overhang, I would do it. I think it would be very cute. Then I found these in the Dollar Tree and I showed these to you guys a while ago. These are by Believe Beauty. And I was shocked when I saw these in the Dollar Tree, not because they're Believe Beauty, because we've had Believe Beauty before, but because I've seen these recently in Dollar General and they're eight bucks and they are a dollar 25 in the Dollar Tree. I mean, the same exact thing. This one, the nudist Jet Setter Manny Mini Nail Polish Set, eight bucks at Dollar General, dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. In shades Mr. and Miss, 
City Girl, and Sweater Weather. And I mean, who would not like that? If you like these types of shades, you will love this polish. It's good polish. We know from the past nail polishes that we got from Believe Beauty that they're very good polish. And to get three colors for a buck and a quarter, you can't beat these for stocking stuffers, guys. You cannot beat them. I picked up a pair of these Juncture gloves for my son. They're actually really, really nice quality gloves. He loves them. I think that they're really, really nice quality. And we're about to see if the touch screen really, really works. Let's see. It works, you guys. You saw it here. It worked. I turned the camera off and then I turned the camera back on again. That's exciting. Okay. Because, you know, their whole touchscreen glove situation, it hasn't always been streamlined. Then I pick these up actually almost every time I go into a Dollar Tree, but they never make it into my hauls. These Breckenridge Farms olives stuffed with minced pimentos. These are really, really yummy olives. In this jar, there are five ounces of olives, 7.7 .7 ounces, including the liquid. But I think that for a buck and a quarter, it's a great deal. I know Aldi's also has pretty great olive prices, but we go through these like water and I'm always in the Dollar Tree. I actually almost always make little charcuterie boards in my house because I, you guys know my son loves and John, they love like salami, prosciutto, cheese, provolone. That's what they love to eat and crackers. So I always buy these olives and that's what they usually eat like in the afternoon or for lunch. So yeah, that's like a thing in our house and these are always good for it. Did you guys notice my viral little fireplace that I got last year? It's so funny. I bought it last year because I was like, that is so weird. I have to own it. It's tiny. It was $5. I bought it on one of those Facebook marketplace groups because we don't have a plus store here in New York. And I think they charged me $7 plus shipping and shipping wasn't a lot of money. So I paid like, I don't know, like $12 for it altogether or $15. And I never knew what to do with it because it is so little. And then I realized it's perfect on that little ledge right there. And I love the noise that it makes. It's very soothing. So when I'm in here like writing and stuff, it actually is nice to have it. Um, the next thing that I want to share with you guys is some undies. I cannot believe that I finally found some of these underwear in the Dollar Tree. And honestly, there were only two packs left. And I bought them both because because they're my family size. They're a size large. I, it's so funny because when I showed them to my husband, he was like, we're getting underwear from the Dollar Tree now too. <laughs> he was, I, I was like, John, look at what I found. I found underwear in the Dollar Tree. And he was like, please don't tell me that we're getting underwear from Dollar Tree now too. And I was like, they're gilded. And he was like, oh, that's good for Chris. And I was like, oh my God, you're so bad. He is very weird about underwear, but they are good. They're good for anybody. I don't care. I'm just sticking them in people's drawers and someone will use them. Look at that. That There's nothing wrong with these at all. Can you believe that, you guys? $1.25, two pairs of underwear in the States where they got tons of these. Because I've been seeing these for ages and ages. And I don't know how they were sent in other places because I asked the manager and I, I asked other managers and I keep asking them, like, did you get these in? Did you get these in? In our Dollar Trees, like here in New York, these Gildan underwear packs came in with some boxes of t-shirts. So in with the t-shirts, there were some underwear packs mixed in. And they explained to me that they took them and they put them aside and made like a little section of them, but they didn't get like cases and cases of them. And I was like, man, that's crazy because I've seen people in walkthroughs show the underwear and it seemed to me like they got tons of them, but here they didn't send them to us like that. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had the underwear sent to your state and if you notice like how they were sent in, because I'm always on the prowl. You guys know that if there is a box to be opened, I will open it and I will hunt it down because I would have loved to have bought some as gifts, 
it would have been great if there were like 150 of them on the shelf, like I've seen in other people's walkthroughs, because then I wouldn't have felt bad buying four. I bought all two that I found, but I don't feel one second of bad about it. But it would have been nice to, to be able to like buy four packs and have some as gifts. It would be great if they had tons of them in the stores so I could donate them because those are great for teenage boys. I mean, underwear is the number one item that is requested by shelters. Socks, underwear, and toiletries. Number one item needed in shelters. So to get underwear at the Dollar Tree of that quality for $1.25, that was like my dream come true, but I just found two, which is so crazy. Then I found these and I think these are awesome. I picked up a dozen of them because I think that they're really cute stocking stuffers. Kids love to do these. And you know, I know that they were really popular a few years ago, but young children really enjoy making these type of bracelets anyway. And it does come with the loom bracelet maker and the little you know, the little like fake rubber band knitting needle, but it becomes really addictive making these. My son used to love to make these and he and I would sit and do it for hours. So yeah, these are really cute stocking stuffers. And there are three different styles. They're all really similar. Basically, this one is called candy craze. And those are the colors of the rubber bands. If you can see and then this one is called Rainbow Blast. And those are the colors of the rubber bands. I mean, it's not really that much different, but they just gave them names. And then we have Confetti Fun. And that one makes sense because the rubber bands, each one is multiple colors, like confetti. So I think that those, I think that those are great stocking stuffers. Kids are going to absolutely love them. And if I see more of them, I may pick up a handful again. Oh, oh, there's a fourth one, you guys. Duh. And this one is neon, and the colors are neon for sure. So that is so cute. Neon glow, and it says make neon bright bracelets. So there's four all together. This is just a plain Hanes t-shirt, but I love that it's navy blue, and it's, it's really soft cotton. I don't know what made this one a little different than all the others, but it's really, really soft cotton and I couldn't resist buying it, even though it's super plain. I try to find like cuter t-shirts when I check the Dollar Tree section, but sometimes just a regular old plain, nice cotton t-shirt is a score. And then I bought paper packs. Don't even ask me why, guys. I'm going to tell you guys exactly why I bought these and you're going to be like, what is wrong with you? Okay, so this paper pack right here, I, I'm i not really crafty. I'm not really crafty, and I definitely don't do paper crafting. But the reason that I picked up this pack, oh my God, it has such cute paper in it, which is why I couldn't resist it, is because it has a bunch of sheets of this paper in it, which I think are so pretty. I love this. I could see myself doing something with that. Sometimes I do DIYs, guys, every once in a while. You just never know. But I love that striped paper. If I do like a little upcycling or DIY, I could use this on Valentine. I like that. I Like I said, I just love the striped paper. And I saw that it had several colors of it. And I was like, ooh, that's a juicy paper pack. Then, this is, look at this. Look, for Valentine again. Valentine DIYing. But then look at this one, you guys. I mean, what? That is velvet. It's velvet on the paper. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm using those paper packs to do something. There's like a bunch of these gold ones, but they're really thin. I feel like these paper packs were so geared to the holidays that I could not resist buying them. I mean, red and green glitter. I can see this in my gingerbread coffee bar in some sort of an upcycle. I just couldn't resist. All of the paper in here is so fabulous for $1.25. I mean, I would never buy like a scrapbook paper or anything like that. So this is as good as it's going to get for me. And I always love when I find this homemade paper that has like the real rose petals in it. I like to write notes on those. Those are like free note cards in my world because 
I bought, see, like, I just think that's so nice. And then you can just like rip it and just put a little note in. You can rip it into the shape of a heart. It's just really, really cool paper pack. For a buck and a quarter, it has some really cute paper in it. And in the other paper pack that I bought, almost the whole pack is this, which I think is so cool. Again, for note cards, because it has like fabric woven into it, which I love, 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 love. This is so cool. Look at that. It is like silk over paper or something like that. Is that not amazing? That is so pretty to do a DIY. The whole, like I got a ton of sheets of that, a ton of them. Almost the whole, is that not amazing? I think it's just, isn't that the most beautiful paper? I know that I can find something to do with that. I mean, it has fabric in it. It's like fashionable paper. <laughs> and look at this one. There's a couple of these. It has like all of this thread woven into it. They were just such... Do you guys buy these paper packs? Because I don't normally, but when I saw these, they really like screamed at me. They were like, I'm special. I'm spectacular. Take me home. And I did. And I just have a feeling... I'm going to make something cool with them. I really do. During the holidays, I do craft a little, little bit. Speaking of crafting, oh my gosh, let me show you guys. Let me get it, actually. It's not done, but I'm going to show you anyway. So it's nowhere near done, and I don't like the ribbon that I'm trying to use. I'm probably just going to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and buy some other type of ribbon, but I was kind of... um like mocking it out to see how I liked these metal leaves that the Dollar Tree brought in. So I taped them onto it before I E6000 them. And then I was trying to figure out what type of ribbon to use. Like I wrapped this, whatever this is, like tutu material one around that. Those What this is, is the three brass rings, but I fused them together at the top to make like a base for this. But I'm just not sure I use that, all three of them. I love these, actually. I absolutely love those brass wreath rings that come in the three-pack. I think they're so cool for making wreaths. And I had this stuff. I had picked it up. So I was going to try to use that as a ribbon. I really love these metal leaves that came into the Dollar Tree. They come in burgundy gold and silver. And I'm going to E6000 it. When I go to E6000 and I'm going to have to put like popsicle sticks on the back part to keep them, you, you guys get it because, you know, they're not touching everywhere, but I figured out how I'm going to do it with the electrical tape is kind of like my, I'm using the electrical tape as sort of like a mock run of it. And now I know where I have to put the popsicle sticks, but I haven't worked out the whole bow yet. Because I am not like a master bow maker, but I think I'm going to go get a more simple ribbon, maybe thin, and make like a, I don't know yet, but I'll definitely put some type of a ribbon up there and, and judge it because I do think that they make a very nice wreath. I do. I love it. And you can also do like a half moon wreath with these, um three rings, which is what I was going to do originally. My original plan was to get tons and tons of remnants of ribbon and tie them onto this in a, like a, kind of like a boho wall decor piece and then wrap this side with like one color. I've seen people do it online and it looks really cool and it's just a ton of different like ribbon and yarn hanging, but I'm doing the leaf thing because I think it's it's just cool that it's metal. It'll be like indestructible. Once I use the E6000, it'll last forever. And maybe I'll just put a word up here instead. Oh, duh. I can put like a word up here and just a little jute ribbon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm going to do. It's been driving me crazy. <gasps> yes, I'm going to put a word this way, maybe. I'm going to put a word. Well, it's a mock run, but I figured I would show you a DIY I'm actually working on because I may actually finish this one. So I'm excited about that. When I walked in to the Baldwin Dollar Tree and I found these signs, 
I was in heaven. I think that these signs are perfect. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So, so cute, you guys. Look at it. It's framed. It's, it's very matte. Uh, you guys know that I don't mind my glitter, but for what these are, these are perfect. They're not, there's no bones about it. These are farmhouse holiday decor at its absolute best. Joy to the world. And I love, I just love them. I love everything about them. They're really rustic. And I love this one because it's got the teal truck, merry and bright and the red truck. And I couldn't choose because I love the teal truck most of all, but I love the word joy. And then I was thinking, I think that people are going to buy these and cannibalize them because they are very sturdy and you could do lots and lots of things with these signs. You could take three of them, let's say, and then you buy the square, you know, the square pieces of wood and put it here. It's the same size because I checked it actually. And you can make a planter box to plant. You can paint it, keep one like you can make it, let's say you want to make your flower arrangement, say joy to the world, or you want it to say merry and bright. You leave that one as is, and then you paint the middle of all the other ones. You don't even have to paint the one that's on the bottom. And then you put those pieces of square wood cuts that fit perfectly on the end and you chalk paint everything, but the one that you're showing. And then you put your flower arrangement in there or napkins, or anything you want. You make a holiday centerpiece for not that much money, but I think that these signs are really gorgeous. Or people can chalk paint the whole thing and do a completely different season out of them. They're just really well made. Or they can turn them into lanterns. I see a lot of things happening with these because I know when I watch crafters channels, I know that they just come up with the most brilliant ways of using them. But Again, these signs are definitely one of the higher end signs that they made this year. Don't you guys agree that these are probably some of the nicest they've ever made? They've really taken it up to a whole new level. I picked up some of the no frills, no name brand hair clips from the Dollar Tree. The ones that are just marked made in China because these happen to be actually, do you guys hear how like, they're not playing. Those are like hardcore hair clips. So I think they'll hold my hair up and they are really pretty. The white one especially is, is iridescent. I don't know if you could see that, but yeah, I just really, I really like that that one is iridescent and you get two for $1.25. That's always a plus. The boys absolutely love these Pillsbury cheddar garlic biscuits. They're delicious. If you see them, grab them. It makes 12 to 14 biscuits. Um, I don't know how I made 10 out of each pack, but I probably don't do it right or I don't know. But I somehow, every time I've made them, we've made these quite a few times at this point. I come out with 10 of them, but it's okay. They're 10 big biscuits. They're delicious and you can even pour butter on top of them if you want um, to make them taste like the famous ones from red lobster that everybody loves, but I think they're really good. I found these bowls in the Dollar Tree. They're metal. I like to change the dog bowls out often. You had me at Woof for Maxie and, well, Max, and this one says happiness is you. And that's so like facetious because Mabel always looks so sad, but she gets the happiness is you bowl and the you had me at Woof is for Max. And I just think they're really nice metal stainless steel bowls for $1.25. Definitely great. And they do have the skid resistant little rubber thing on the bottom. Eventually that comes off. But like I said, I do change them out often. This is another one of the weird brands that have popped up in the Dollar Tree that are no name brand, but they are locally made because these are from Stony Brook, New York, which is not far from where I live. And actually, they're very, very pretty lashes. Really quite nice. And they do have a little bottle of the glue, which I probably wouldn't use, but I can always add the glue to another pair of lashes that 
I'm gifting, like I can put it in the box because it does come with a little, unless I lose it, like Marina does everything. But um, see, it does come with a little bottle of glue. And I think that some people like that glue, but I like that um, Ioni, this one. This is my favorite thing in the whole world. The three in one lash glue liner. And I do happen to sometimes wear lashes lately as a result of discovering this. So yeah, that's a great little item to pick up at the Dollar Tree. And I think that those are really manageable. I really like that style a lot. I wish that I had found a ton of these, but I didn't. Somebody else must have liked them and bought them all up. I ordered several cases of these, but I but I do see them in the stores, and I figured I would mention these are amazing for a buck and a quarter. At CVS, they have necklaces that light up like this for like $10, $12. To get them for a buck and a quarter is phenomenal. And they also have these super cute clips this year. Now, I bought several cases of these because kids love these. They're really fun to wear, and every year I buy several cases of the necklaces, but I've never seen these before, and I think that these are really, really cute. You get a four-pack. Look at how cute that is. It's a little clip with a bow clip. I feel like my name is Trixie now, but you guys know that I just love these kinds of things. I am going to Christmas tree myself up right now. There, I put all four in my hair because I can never choose, but I'm just a giant gift. Aren't they so cute? No, realistically, I would only wear one in my hair and it would be very hard to decide. It would probably have to do with what color I was wearing, but I, or maybe two, maybe two. I would, I think I would do two. Aren't they so cute? I really like them and I definitely feel like calling myself Trixie when I put them on. I don't know why, because they remind me of like a vintage like name. I just love them. I think they're so, so cute. And oh, I think these are from that company that is generic also, but they're wishing us a happy holiday. And it just says made in China. <laughs> love them. I picked up a pack of these, just good old regular six pack of goodie clips, because whenever I wear my hair up, like clipped up, which I do often, um, where my hair just clipped up on either end. These are the clips that I use. They work so well for that. And I love those clips. I don't even know what's in these bags anymore. I'm just pulling things out, but I did get more headbands by Riviera, but this one is spectacular. Look at those stones. They are really, really dazzling. This is a high-end hair clip for real. Really gorgeous. It's so pretty. It reminds me of something that you would wear like on Easter. So, so pretty. I love it. It's like a blush, very, very light, almost white, pale pink. But it's really beautiful. And then this is like so dainty and delicate and sparkly. And then this is like, girl, I'm an animal. <laughs> I just... They're very different, but both really, really nice. Oh, and this one retailed for, it doesn't say, but I'm sure it was a lot. And then this Riviera headband, which is really nice, so much fabric, retailed for 10 bucks, And I love that. It's very nice. I'm not taking the tag out because I'm not sure that I'm keeping all of these for myself. I may be using them in gift baskets. I mean, how many headbands can one woman have? I don't need, oh wow, I really like this headband though. It is kind of like grr, but um, it's so cute. What a cool headband for a buck and a quarter. Those are going to make great gifts. I can't help but laugh. Everybody was going crazy when Denise from Denise's Halls aired her shorts video and shared that the Dollar Tree had got the Kendall and Kylie brand name makeup bags. And that's, it is a score. Do you know that these were $19.99 in the pharmacies? I didn't know that. But they are on the smaller side. They're good for brushes or for, you know, like teenager makeup. I have an industrial size makeup bag, you guys. I need a lot of things to go on this face when I put my makeup on. 
I, although I do easy makeup, I do use like concealer, foundation. I need a lot of stuff. They do fit quite a bit actually for their deceiving size because they do have a flat bottom and you can fit several items in here, but it's just not big enough for me. But they do make nice stocking stuffers. If you're going to give some brushes, maybe a lipstick, they're nice. The pattern is very nice. As you can see, this floral pattern is very beautiful. The roses are very pretty. This pattern is my favorite. And you can mix a bunch of animal prints in an animal themed basket if you'd like. Um, and this is so cute. Even for a little girl would love this one with the unicorns. Super cute for her to even put her crayons in. And yeah, all of the patterns are nice. If I had to pick one that I didn't like, it would be this one. I don't like the Kendall and Kylie logo, but I do like that at least it has a nice blue teal zipper. Um, the unicorn one I think is great for preteens or teens with some lip glosses. It'll make a nice little stocking stuffer. This one is great. Absolutely great print. And so is this one. And you can fill these with some goodies from the Dollar Tree and gift them. They'll make nice stocking stuffers. And then you guys know me. I can't resist a cool pair of sunglasses. And I felt like they matched this case really nicely. Isn't that so nice? I think these shades are really nice. I picked up two pairs of them. They're actually Dollar Tree sunglasses. They're not brand name, but the Dollar Tree started knocking off all of the designer shades that they bought. So they knocked these off because I saw the designer version of these in the Dollar Tree a few months ago, and now they knocked them off and I think they're really cool. So like I said, I picked up two pairs one for me, and look at how cute those are. I love these sunglasses. I picked up a set for me and a set for a future giveaway because I love sticking sunglasses in little pouches like this. I think it's like the perfect thing to do, and I think that when you pull these out of here, they look really cute. Don't Isn't that so cute together? And this pair right here is another pair of the designer dupe sunglasses that Greenbrier reproduced. And they're cute, guys. I love them. So, of course, I picked up a pair for me and a pair for you guys of these as well. They have been reproducing a lot of them, but I, I love the fact that they're baby blue sunglasses. You don't often see baby blue sunglasses at the Dollar Tree, and they're perfect for head sitting, which is what I like to do with my sunglasses. You guys know that. And I think they're perfect to go inside of this little Kendall and Kylie bag because, like I said, they're okay. They're an okay size, but I think they're way better suited for holding my shades. I love that. Really perfect. And that's going in a future giveaway as well. And I have a pair for me and a pair for you guys. Aren't those so cute, guys? For $1.25, one of my absolute favorite items to buy, if you're new here and you don't know, if today was your very first day, I happen not to be wearing sunglasses on my head because I haven't been feeling good, so I've been home a lot. But normally, I am always wearing sunglasses because the light outside hurts my eyes, and I always wear them. But if you stay, you'll see that I'll almost never, ever again not... not have sunglasses on my head. It's a rarity, but I at least being true to myself, hold some sunglasses and it wasn't planned. That's for sure. I'm just hauling whatever's in this bag. I have bags all around me. Oh, the other thing that I want to haul is my turkey. I think I already hauled one, but I picked up two more because I bought this really cool long piece of wood with a paddle at my Amazon liquidator, Amazon, Target, a little bit of Walmart, Dollar General. They liquidate a lot of things at that place. You guys have to check out that video if you missed it. That is the greatest place in the world to shop in. And they're all over the country. But um, yeah, so it on one side, it has little grooves for candles. So I think I'm going to put three turkeys like in different directions. I don't know. But I, I picked up three of these all together now. You guys will see because um, if I... 
do my haul. I know when I do my Amazon liquidation haul, I'll put a video of my turkeys in it together because I think it's going to be such a cute like table decor piece for the fall. Definitely cute. And these little tin turkeys are super cute. And they have orange tea lights at the Dollar Tree. So little orange tea lights in here will make it super festive and cute. Somewhere in this room, they are already in the house, and that'll be part of my fall tablescape. I just think these are super duper cute. Once you take them out of the bag, you definitely have to, like, fix them up. You know, I could see people even putting jewels on them, like orange jewels and maybe, like, gold jewels and mustard color jewels. I just like to bling things out in, like, boho colors, maybe, like, an ombre effect. That would be really cute, but they're so adorable. For $1.25, they're really cute. This is actually a Halloween item, but I bought this scarf with the gnomes on it uh, to wear for, I think, Thanksgiving or in the fall. I think it's very fall looking and not necessarily Halloween, but I do love this print a lot, a lot. And it is an infinity scarf. Again, this year, all of the prints that they made that I really super liked turned out to be Infinity, but it's okay because I think that this print is absolutely perfect for the fall. It doesn't scream Halloween to me. It really does scream fall, and I may wear it on Thanksgiving. I think it's super duper pretty. Really, really love, love that pattern. What do you guys think of this pattern? I wish that it wasn't an Infinity scarf, but... Honestly, I'm kind of getting over it because the Infinity Scarves work okay. They're just like that, and they do keep your neck warm. And they are, they are, they're really cute, actually. I'm good with them. I, I like it. I am i used to hate Infinity Scarves, but I'm starting the Dollar Tree has worn me down because every print that I really love is an Infinity Scarf. And I used to be like, no, absolutely not. I'm not buying it. But now I'm like... But I really like it. And it looks cute, actually, with like a scoop neck. It's perfect. Okay, guys, this bag has barely made it into the haul. It's already opened. It was nice and full. This is such a good deal. You get 16 pieces, or at least I think it's a great deal, of, of individually wrapped warheads. They look like this. And you guys have tried these. If you like sour candy, we love these in my house. They are the sour chewy candy filled with ooze in the middle. That's like the oozy part right there, the white part. But the flavors are so good. Mango, strawberry, green apple, black cherry, watermelon, or blue raspberry. And the kicker is you don't know what flavor you're getting until you open it. So you get addicted to trying like, oh, oh I got a red one. I love, love the red one. That one is, oh, I think this one is watermelon. Oh yeah, this is watermelon. Then there's like a darker red that's black cherry. And then there's like a pink one. They're so good, you guys. Really? They're not even that super sour. Ooh, they're a little sour. I love them though. They have a kick. But you guys know that I love sour candy and I had to fight these out of Chris's hands to haul them. Just to let you guys know, this is a great deal. If you're going to do stocking stuffers, this is from Halloween. But you know what? I would still grab these. During the Christmas season, they don't make these. They make the one single bag that comes in like red and green warheads. But you can fill a bunch of kids' stockings with a handful of these and save money. Grab these up. Honestly, I'm going to grab up a bunch. I hope they put the Halloween candy on clearance because I'm going to buy whatever will work for me to put into stockings and and put it into kids' stockings. But these are great to add to kids' stockings. The next few items that I want to share with you guys are from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't buy them. I actually bought them at Bunny Birdie Gators auctions on Thursdays, which I've been passing out lately because I've been so sick that I haven't been able to make it to her auctions. They're on Thursday evenings. I think they start at eight or nine o'clock, but I've been going to bed really early and then coming to and then passing out again. This mono has really wreaked a havoc on my schedule. Trust me. But 
I believe this is originally from Walmart. It was in the Dollar Tree for $1.25. We never found it here in New York, but I actually really wanted it because it's cool. I do love egg salad, but I'm allergic to eggs, so I have to buy a specific type of eggs, and I have it very rarely. They have to be cage-free, uh, grass-fed. They can't have eaten soy because the reason that I am allergic to eggs is because a lot of farm-raised, mass-produced eggs that come from chickens that are fed soy, it just, it, it travels to the egg and I am severely allergic to soy. So I have to eat happy chicken eggs that are raised on a farm that graze on grass. And I'm just a total Virgo that way. I am such a freak when it comes to chemicals, but I do love egg salad and I kind of love I love egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad. Those are my things. The boys hate them. But when I make egg salad, I love the idea of being able to wedge the eggs or slice them and then dice them. But I just like that you have a choice of both. And this thing is such a gadget. I've never seen anything. I don't know. I'm really like a gadget person. When I see a gadget, I have to try it. I... Trust me, my cabinets that are overflowing can prove it. Oh, you have to disconnect it. I get it now. I get it now. And if you want to wedge them, you just lift this up, but it's it's attached right now. You lift that part up, and then you put it down, and the little metal pieces in there wedge it, which I think is really cool. So you could put it in a salad, but I just think it's awesome that you can get something like that anywhere in any Dollar Tree for $1.25. I was really excited to buy that at Bunny Birdie Gators auction for not not much more than what it was selling for at Dollar Tree. It was a very cool find. And then she also had these. Um, she even like personal shops for people sometimes. I wanted to try these in the worst way. They're called Spongibles Body Wash in a Sponge Anti-Cellulite. That's a big promise, but I'll try it. Anything that you scrub with is good for your lymphatic system. Four-in-one moisturizes, exfoliates, massages, and cleanses. Argon oil, seaweed, and caffeine. Oh, wait a minute. It, it could be good for cellulite because it does have caffeine and seaweed. Those are really good for that. It says that it has 12 plus uses and it's peony blossom. And I picked up... I picked up a couple of those because I, ooh, they smell really good. I can even smell it right through the plastic. That is so cool for, again, $1.25, but not in my Dollar Tree. I think I paid like $3 for those at Bunny Birdie Gators auctions. That's still less than what they go for at Walmart. So I'm happy about that. And uh, Bunny Birdie Gator gave me a gift. I didn't even realize it. She sent me this cute fashion pedicure set, which is exciting. She always wraps everything really nicely. Mimi, the content creator for Bunny Birdie Gator, in case you don't know who she is, you got to go check her out. She's so cute. She really knows people after a while, or maybe I'm just way off, but I think she really does get a sense of people and she knows that I love all things nautical. So in the card that she sent me, it says, seize the day, which is so cute. I almost want to frame this. It is really cute. I don't think this is a Dollar Tree card, but she shops everywhere. And um, she always sends like cute little personal touches when you buy something from her auction. Also included this cute little journal that says, be fierce. And like I said, it was all in this cute pink little gift bag. Just extra little bonuses that she added in for no reason. It's a very fun auction to support. And it's nice to get mail, like, so lovingly prepared. I love the little bag. that she... I actually like to put things in bags like this, too. Um, I always buy them from the party section because I feel like you get bang for your buck. And I like to make little gift bags in these kind of bags because you get a bunch and they're super cute and little and compact. I just, I just like things like that. I love how she packs everything up for us. And I like that I can get things that I can't find in my Dollar Tree at her auction. So that is very exciting as well. 
I have been dying to try this and it never ever came to New York Dollar Trees, at least not that I know of. And and I have it now and I'm going to be showering with it tonight. And who knows, I may be cellulite free by morning, guys. I do have one more issue that I want to cover. Um, in my last walkthrough, I showed you guys the Christmas Village and I said that it was going to be a pop-up giveaway. Unfortunately, I was so sick when I was putting that video together, I just could not record the pop-up giveaway. And it's still in my car, but I, I promise you guys, I, I really have been really sick and I'm doing the best that I can to keep up with everything I need to do. Uh, but I promise you, because I didn't complete that pop-up giveaway in that video, I will put some other cute Christmas stuff together with it and make a pre-Christmas exciting giveaway and I will put it in my next walkthrough. I promise, guys. I will get it together very soon, I promise you. And I also need to call the winner of my feel good or feel... I need to call the winner of that blue basket that I did. I think it was called Feeling Good Giveaway, which I'm probably going to be doing right now. I'm going to announce the winner for that. Congratulations to whoever you are. Um, I don't know who it is yet because I have to put all the names in the basket while I'm editing this video because so many of you guys don't use hashtags that I've practically given up on because I don't want to disqualify people who are loyal to my channel. But the way to do a hashtag is put the hashtag and then put the word no spaces. Anyhow, let's move forward in this haul. I want to share these with you guys. I did share them in a walkthrough and I even shared that they... Um, color change. Do you guys see that? I'm going to show them to you in the dark again, in case you missed the walkthrough. These are absolutely streamlined, gorgeous, super duper fabulous for $1.25. I cannot say enough about them. They're so gorgeous. I feel like I can't possibly say enough about them. I wonder, ooh, wow, you could charge these up. If you're having like a party, you can charge this up all day and then put it in a flower arrangement like vase and like in the dark, it would look really cool in an arrangement and the, like, you know, this would be on the bottom, maybe covered by something and just have that like in there like that. In the dark, it would look really cool. Maybe like in a sweet 16 or something like that. Yeah, these solar lights are worth more than $1.25. Things like this in regular stores, not Dollar Tree, they're like 8 or $9 each with the bubbles. They're just beautiful. Really, really color changing anything brings me sheer joy. Do you guys see that? Now it's blue. I also picked up the Warm Wishes little baking dish. I don't think I'm going to be baking anything in them. I'm probably going to, because I love the gingerbread on these. I love gingerbread men so much. I'm probably going to put my Earl Grey tea in here. I got a ton of Earl Grey tea at that Amazon liquidation place the other day. But I'm probably going to put like a bunch of tea bags in here and put it in my coffee slash hot cocoa slash Earl Grey tea bar um, because I just love, love the gingerbread men pattern. The Dollar Tree has had these clear stamps for a while and a friend of mine asked me to pick them up for her because she noticed that they were still on the shelf here in New York. So I picked her up one of every style. Here's the dream catcher one so cool. And the bird one, I actually picked up two of the bird one because I did get all of those paper packs and I do have an ink, like one of those ink pads. Um, so I thought it would be cute if I used it to stamp my scrap paper and make little notes when I'm sending packages out. Basically that's free. So yeah, I picked up two of the bird one and then, but I got one of each for her. The llama pack is also really cute. And it says, find your way at the top. I kind of like that. Maybe I should have bought a llama one just for that stamp. Find your way is so cute. 
And then this one says travel and summer. Those are really, really cute too. Yeah, so she really wanted those four. And then, like I said, I picked up another second bird one for myself because I just love birds. I really do love birds. And I love that one right there. That one is so cute. And so is that one. Super cute. But maybe I'll get another one of the llama ones because I think find your own way and keep on dreaming, which is what those two stamps say, are really cute to add to little note cards that they're not really going to be like note cards. I mean, I can take that scrap paper pack that I picked up and put earrings that don't have like a card to gift and I can stamp them and make them look like artisanal because I have a lot of jewelry that people have donated that's brand new, but it doesn't have boxes because a lot of people that donate things, maybe they've ordered them from Wish or something and they didn't like them and they come in those little like tiny little Ziploc bags with no packaging or anything, but it's nice to just, if I take a pair of earrings that came in a Ziploc bag and I put them on that pretty paper, I punch, you know, they have the little hole punch. You could just punch it with the actual earring and then stamp it with a cute little stamper. That would be cute packaging. And even like I could wrap, I could tie like, you could, you could put like a little hole with a hole punch and tie like a piece of yarn through the top and just like make a little bow. It makes it look cute and it costs you like nothing. You could get fat red yarn at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 for a ton of it and just make little bows at the top of the package and then stamp it with anything like be brave, catch your dream. I should have bought one of each actually now that I think of it. The keep on dreaming and the hello, those are cute to stamp for, for the jewelry things on the paper packs. Hmm. I may have to get some more, but those are for my friend. Okay, we're on last but not least. I know this was kind of a crazy haul, but honestly, I just have not had a chance to even go through my stuff and organize it in the slightest bit. I have been really, really sick, guys. I promise my next video will be way better. Um, I picked up a bunch of chocolate for my trick-or-treaters tomorrow, including those Warhead um, candies that... We, we practically ate the whole bag, but I did pick up a couple bags of these because I think those are great for trick-or-treat and Christmas. I'm going to try to get more of those. They're so yummy, but the Dollar Tree brought back their five pack of Almond Joy, and I did read that they're cheaper at Dollar General, but I don't get to Dollar General all that often. My Dollar Generals are not that great. I know I could have gotten a big giant bag at Target or something like that, but if I buy a big giant bag and we don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters, we're going to eat a big giant bag of chocolate. So I got three of each, and I'm happy with that. I'm always in the Dollar Tree. Sometimes you got to pick your battles, guys. I saved money in so many other places. I splurged on trick-or-treat chocolate, but I got three packages of Almond Joy. So I have like 15 Almond Joy. I got three packages of Twix, and you get six of the Twix in here, six Twix in here. So I got 18 Twix in all, and I'm doing math now for you guys. And then I got three packages of the Kit Kat, which the Almond Joy, the Twix, and the Kit Kat had been missing from the Dollar Tree for a few months. I thought they were never going to bring them back, as a matter of fact. They only had the white Kit Kat, which I like white chocolate, but it left a lot to be desired. Um, classic Kit Kat is the way to go for Halloween. And I picked up three, so I have like 15 of the Kit Kats, a couple bags of those Warheads, and we don't really get a lot of trick-or-treaters. And I could see that my son already opened this because I picked up one of these Mr. Good Bars. It was pretty full, I have to say. It's a nice size bag. It's a 2.7 ounce bag of mini Mr. Good Bars, but I could see that it's got less ounces in it because my son has already been snacking on it. But these are so cute. I remember when I was little, we would always love when we got this kind of chocolate on Halloween. And if this doesn't get picked up for trick-or-treaters, I'll be eating it. Anything that has peanuts inside of it, I love. And Almond Joy. Love that. But that's it, guys. I'm about to lose my voice, so I'm going to have to end this video. Um, I feel it conking out on me. Uh, I, I had other things that I really wanted to get to, but I promise I'll be doing a haul as soon as I can. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
and share my video. Help me grow my channel. Every thumbs up and share helps me raise money for my charity. By sharing my videos and giving my videos a thumbs up, you're not just doing something nice for me. You're actually like in a ripple effect helping other people because I run a nonprofit called Garage Sales Against Violence and everybody that watches my videos, shares my videos, comments on my videos, doesn't skip the commercials and or the advertisements, commercials like I'm in the 1950s, doesn't skip the advertisements <clears throat> and um, comments on the channel, gives them a thumbs up and shares my videos. Everyone that does all of that is actually helping me ultimately raise money towards my charity, which is what I most appreciate from this community. I really appreciate you guys. I'm so grateful that you're here with me. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.